Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Give me some of that dating foolishness. Will do, sir. The problem is, Hakimi took all of his assets and put them in his mama's name. Now, the fact that he did that, that's a whole nother video. I'm gonna give you tips on how to make sure you never end up in this situation. Woman explains how to avoid Ashraf Hakimi's mom rule and prevent leaving with nothing in marriage. Welcome to Manage Highlights Daily. We all know this is bound to happen, right? Every event in life is the result of a cause and effect relationship. As the saying goes, this is not checkers, this is chess. Life is a game that requires strategy, critical thinking, and careful planning. Every move we make has consequences, and every decision we take affects the game's outcome. In this game of life, we need to be mindful of our moves, anticipate our opponent's next move, and make strategic decisions that will lead us to victory. We may encounter setbacks, obstacles, and challenges along the way, but we must not lose sight of our goal. Like Sun Tzu said, if you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Let's talk about it. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do. Because we men ain't we? Yeah! We men ain't we? So if you haven't heard, Moroccan soccer player Hakimi is engaged in this vicious divorce battle with his soon-to-be ex-wife over assets to be distributed upon a divorce. The problem is Hakimi took all of his assets and put them in his mama's name. Now, the fact that he did that, that's a whole nother video. I'm gonna give you tips on how to make sure you never end up in this situation. Step one get a prenup. I've talked about this before. I'm going to talk about it again. And you might be thinking, I don't have enough assets for a prenup. A prenup will mandate both parties to disclose what assets they have, where they're located, and whose name they're in. If she would have done that, she would have known from the beginning, he has nothing in his name. Exactly. But it would also exempt her from taking everything Hakimi has to offer and maybe even prevent the marriage from happening in the first place. The key to a woman's success in securing the bag is for men to be foolish. I know it sounds harsh, but you're gonna get your red pill vitamins today. Here, take them. These red pills are bitter. Women don't want you to think when you engage with them. Not that critical analytical way of thinking. That's why nature created the love drug. You know what they say, love makes you blind. Which means that when we are deeply in love with someone, we often overlook their flaws, imperfections, and negative traits. We only see their positive qualities and overlook the things that would normally bother us. That's why women don't like channels like this because we expose the truth about them. We expose the truth about modern marriage. And we are telling you guys the juice is not worth the squeeze. Women avoid that prenuptial agreement talk because they know it's gonna expose their game plan and it's gonna hold women accountable and we all know responsibility is women's kryptonite. Check this out. Step two, I want you to have a provision in your prenup that requires you to get paid out for every year that you are sitting at home taking care of the family and taking care of the kids. And you might be thinking, oh, I don't need to do that. Shut up, shut up. Society is going to pressure you into a lot of things. Your love for the family is going to pressure you into a lot of things. And you need a payout in the event that you sacrifice your entire career and sit at home because you're not going to be able to jump back into the freaking work market with a gap in your resume. You see how she's negotiating from a selfish perspective, negotiating from a perspective that she is doing you a favor. We've had this woman on before, and this is what she said. Y'all, please stop letting hating men and women bully you out of finding and wanting to be with a rich man. There is literally no award for suffering. And being with a rich man is lit. Like, you're not stressed out. You can focus on yourself. You get to do one-in-a-lifetime experiences. And worst-case scenario, if you get played, at least you get a good return on your investment. Like, I don't understand why you wouldn't. She has nothing to lose dating a rich guy. Yet... This parasite is acting like she's doing you a favor. <laughs> Women are acting like being a housewife is hard work. With all this technology we have today, dishwashers, vacuum cleaners. But you are dating a rich man. You have cleaning ladies, 
chefs, nannies, what the hell are you doing? Just like Eddie Murphy said, you only have to F your husband. That's it. Just F your husband. But this parasite wants a yearly payout for taking care of the kids. The foolishness. You can't make this stuff up. You're supposed to take care of your children, you fool. This is that effinous mentality, that effinous poison, that effinous disease that they have infected these modern women with. It's disgusting. This is why you cannot think with your dick, fellas. These women are coming for your bag under the guise of love and independence. Hakimi's ex-wife is a millionaire and still she wanted half independent my ass. Step three, and this is something I'm personally going to have in my prenup, have a payout clause for every child you bring into this world. And you might be thinking, oh, you're not doing a big job by bringing a child into this world. It's your duty. Shut up. Okay, shut up. The mental, physical, emotional toll that's going to take on your body, on who you are as a person, it's going to change you forever. And let's be completely honest, when you are divorced and you have to go back into the dating market, they're going to treat you as a single mother with children very differently than a rich man who's divorced and has kids. It's not going to impact him or his life. It's going to impact you. So make sure you're compensated for it. You see how selfish this is? Do you understand why women are rootless in divorce court? I wonder what she would advise her son in this particular situation. I'm willing to bet she would apply the Hakimi's mom rule so she can keep the money for herself. Look at your history. Men never had a selfish role. These effinists want to make it appear that men consistently oppressed and abused women, but that's not true. For men, it's always been about protecting their families, providing for their families, leading their families. That's why women need men to love and respect them. Because the motivation to do all of these things must come from somewhere. And these modern women are doing a terrible job inspiring, motivating men to love and respect them. What these women don't understand is that the Ashraf Hakimi situation is an effect of women taking men to the cleaners in court. Women taking advantage of the system for personal gain. The manosphere is full of stories of men being divorced great in court. Men that did everything right. Irreconcilable differences. Wife cheated, still gotta pay alimony, child support. We all know that's not fair. Chess, remember? Hakimi made a brilliant move to protect himself from this shit that shook up the world and exposed female selfish nature for the world to see. These TikTok videos only accelerate the inevitable. Men are waking up. Some of these men go elsewhere. Some of these men just pump and dump. Some of these men are content with playing their PlayStation Xbox because the juice ain't worth the squeeze. Don't get married, fellas. The man that's gonna marry this woman, good luck. Manosphere reworking. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted. highlighted.